guys, it's Allie, and today is April 27th, which means as of a year ago, I started booktubing. Yes, it's been a year since I started booktubing, which is crazy. And a year later, and 116 subscribers later, here I am still, and here you are still, still watching. So thank you guys. And what better way to celebrate my one year booktube anniversary than with a tag. So today I will be doing the zombie apocalypse book tag. And no, no one tagged me. Tag me. So this tag was created by Nathan Hale and I will post a link to his original tag video in the description below. And this tag is that you are in the zombie apocalypse and so you are assembling your team to fight against the zombies. And of course those will all be fictional characters from your favorite books. So how it works is there are 10 positions and for every two you use one book. So you open up to a random page and the first character name you see is the person that goes with that role thingamajig that you read. <laughs> and if I think it's if it's a main character narrating it's like I then you have to turn um, to a different page, different random page to get an actual name. So let's do this! The books I'm using are The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black, The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken, figure they can probably help me out, Champion by Marie Lu, The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, naturally, A Million Sons by Beth Revis. They're good at, like, space. And I will be drawing each book I use out of my handy dandy mug. For the first one, I will be using... Champion by Marie Lu. So the first question is the first person to die. Oh my god! Ollie is the first person to die! No! The dog! How? Oh my god! There are so many other people I would rather have die first than the dog. I opened up to page 113 and there is Ollie right there. Ollie. The next question is, uh, still on champion, the person you trip to get away from the zombies. Day. Can't exactly say I'll miss you too much. The Darkest Minds by Alexander Brecken. The first person to turn into a zombie. Oh my god. This is so stressful. Um, Sam. Oh, okay. Well, Sam, you're not the nicest person, so uh, I'm kind of cool with that. You're now a zombie! Yay, go you! Number four, the person that trips you to get away from the zombies. <laughs> Jerk. Chubbs. Chubbs freaking would! He would trip me to get away. That seems like a totally Chubbs thing to do. Next book. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town. Number five, the idiot of the team. <laughs> this will be interesting. Aiden. Oh my god, that is the most accurate thing ever. That's the main character's ex-boyfriend, and he is just an idiot. Number six, the brains of the team. Once again, this will be interesting. Gabrielle. Score, guys! Gabrielle is the brains of the team. Considering he's a vampire and he's been around for hundreds of years, I think that I can... I think I can trust him. I think his knowledge will definitely satisfy our needs. Okay, our next book is... The Hunger Games. First will be the team's medic. Okay. PETA. You know, I love you, PETA, but are you a medic? Um, that's the question. <laughs> I guess he could camouflage us while we were bleeding out and dying in pain, and then the zombies would run past us and wouldn't see us, and then he could take us to a real doctor if they weren't turned into zombies. <laughs> Next one, the weapons expert. 
Okay, uh, I turned to page 95 and I got Haymitch. And Haymitch was, I mean, I guess, he wasn't exactly like a weapons person, but I mean, he was smart and he figured things out. I mean, he won, he won one of the games and so that has to count for something, right? The only book left is A Million Sons by Beth Revis. <laughs> the Brawler. Elder. I love Elder, but he's not a fighter. Guys, this team isn't working out very well for me. <laughs> Lastly, the team captain. Hopefully, hopefully I get a good one. Amy. Okay, Amy, you know what? I love Amy, and she's pretty strong and pretty, pretty cool, so at least we have a good team leader. The idiot of the team is very accurate. And the brains of the team is good. So there's that. So we have smarts and a good leader and a good idiot. <laughs> Frankly, I don't think I would survive the apocalypse very well. <laughs> All right, guys, so this has been the zombie apocalypse book tag. I think it was really fun. Even if my team didn't turn out the best, it was fun. Okay, and so I'm going to tag Book Need Love, Book Bits and Bobs, Kit Cats Can Read, and Books with Claire. So I hope you guys can do the tag. It was super fun, and I'm sure you guys will have loads of fun as well. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks so much for watching this whole entire year. I really appreciate it, and uh, see you next time, guys. Keep on reading. Bye!